Ah, good morning, me hearties. Tis me, a Scotty McClue, 10 o'clock Monday morning. Nothing gets past me. Easter Monday. Welcome, welcome, and a very, very happy Easter to all of you. If um, some of you are really struggling and having a very tough time or have lost loved ones, I send you so much love and so much strength coming from all of us. The world will strengthen up. That's what it's about on here. All of you, come and join me. Very, very welcome. Lovely to have you with us Monday morning. Good morning, good morning. Ah, you're all coming here. Wait till I see who we've got here. Gordon Robertson. How wonderful to see you and Dinky Do. Thomas Draghorn, Dinky Do. Jack Melies, Dinky Do, Jack. Mark Ferry, Gordon Robertson's watching, it says. Uh, Harry Knowles is watching, Dinky Do. Harry, lovely to have you with us. Think I'm first today, you're pretty sharp. Yes, I think you are first. Always the first. The first and the last, Alpha and Omega. Very important at this time of year. Happy Easter, Scotty, says Mark. Mark Ferry, David Dister's watching. Happy Easter Monday, says Jack. Dinky do, Jack. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to get sharing. So I'll throughout the whole stream. And we'll see if we can catch uh, everybody this morning. I know it's a bit early, 10 o'clock. Some of you are kipping in, but you should be up and about. There's Susan, Susan Forrest. And about, we love that. Wonderful, good morning, Susan. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Fantastic. Sean McCormick, hi, Scotty. Hello, Sean. Great to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. Sharing time, guys, right away, so that they all know. Uh, so I shall share to the big page and just let everybody know. Then they can join us from the start. If you're an outsider to the human race, Scotty McClue. I am Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Susan. Great to hear from you. Happy Easter meat, says Sean McConnick. We don't really do meat, Sean. Uh, we do chum, pal, friend, uh, Scotty. We do all these things. Meat's more I don't know, it's more for the Navy, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, unless you've been in the Navy with me, then um, probably it's not meat, but don't worry about that. That's not a reprimand. Ian Kerr's watching, thank you, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just going to share right away to the big page, then we know everybody's seen us. I've also got a touch of the homemade lemonade. Oh outstanding, although I'll say it myself. Uh, sorry, I missed your stream last night. Scotty says, Jack, um, I didn't get the notification for it. I was also having dinner at the same time and watching some great Vicar of Dibley. Jack, never ever give it a thought. There is no reprimand for not making it to join Scotty McClue because it's still up. So you'll be able to see last night's and uh, it will also be up on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel with 700 more videos for your enjoyment, entertainment, edification, education, and delight. So there we are. Get on to the Scotty McClue channel, guys. You're pixelating this morning. God, and you say the loveliest things. So there we are. It's just because I'm light on my feet. Um, it must be your kit. Good morning, Scotty Dinky Do. Scotty, what do you think, says Stephen McMahon? What do I think of what, Stephen? Uh, Zoe McPherson. Good morning, John Jones. Good morning, Alistair King. Welcome, our top engineer has joined us. Morning, Scotty Dinky Do, says Alistair. Morning, Alistair. Yeah, I think the Wi Fi connection's kind of bugged, says uh, Jack, which yours or mine? Um, Pike Man Paul, good morning. I love it, Pike Man. I heard that expression. Um, who who was the guy that used it on Coronation Street last week? The wee guy that used to help Rita out in the paper shop. Is it? Ah, um, uh, it's not Morris. Who helps Rita out in the paper shop? Help me there. And he said he was a Pike Man. 
So there we are. Uh, that's better now, says Gordon. Good, everything sorted out, Gordon. Delighted. And uh, top of the morning to you, Scotty. You always bring a smile at this time of the morning. I thank you, Ian, and dinky do to you. Thank you for coming and joining me. Let's get sharing, or we'll get distracted. Share, share, share. And uh, I'll just put live now. So there we are. Live now. Wonderful. We'll put the caps lock on, shall we? We'll shout at them. Live now. Join us. Wonderful. Right. So that's gone up there. And uh, I'll just send it out. I'll just share it right now. Good. That should let everybody know what's happening. Wonderful. Jacqueline McFarlane's watching. Thank you, do, Jacqueline. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's live stream, live on Facebook Live. A happy Easter, dinky do, says Jacqueline McFarlane. Dinky do, Jacqueline. Share and share and share, everybody. Tell everybody. Ryan Rowell's watching. Norris. Did I say Morris? I wasn't too far away. It's Norris. Top actor, actually. Wonderful actor. Um, a director in the theatre and what have you. And I just couldn't get the, the character's name right in my head there. It's Norris. It's Norris. Well, Norris said the other night, um, he's talking, they're staying in some sort of um, elderly person's establishment and um, they're having trouble with the guy that runs the committee. And uh, Ken was saying, why shouldn't Norris, why didn't Norris stand? And Norris said he was just a pike man. So that was when I heard it. Um, yours, as you were kind of lagging and pixelating for a bit. Ah, so it's mine, Jack. Good morning, Scotty. Morning, Scotty, dinky-doo, what's your thoughts on people not self-isolating and in and out of friends' houses? We need to be very careful, Stephen, because it's madness. I saw this morning, I posted it, um, and uh, it was saying that, you know, how it spreads in a supermarket, one cough, one ashu, and it just funnels out right along everybody. Everybody in the queue um, has a chance of picking it up, and I lost a dear friend of it last week. Uh, the pattern on your bonnet was jumping about the way uh, Arthur Montford's sports jackets used to. Now, this is, as you know, God and I worked on television for a long time, and um, I loved my sports jackets, but I had to call canny with them because they pixelated. You know, the checks, the small checks. Yes, who, who would have thought it? Television, small checks. Uh, it's amazing to hear that some gamers are doing 24-hour streams for charity. Wow, Jack. 24 hours is quite a long broadcast. I used to do 12-hour shifts. Um, George Dick's watching, dinky do. Norris, Scotty, you are close. I was subject to coronation. Uh, street torture all my life. My mother never missed a program. So they are Norris. We like Norris. I liked him and I loved Alec Gilroy. Um, who was that? That was, uh, he used to, Roy Barraclough. He used to do a lot of work with Les Dawson. Fantastic. They were the two. They were Sissy and Ada. Erin uh, Foy, Marcella Foy, John Marshall and Aidan Grimson, says Thomas Beden. Get out your beds. Get watching. Uh, Marie McAdam, Dinky Doo, Graham Bell's watching. Good morning, Scotty, Dinky Doo, says Erin. So Erin's up and about. Hi, Rob Randall. Hi, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Great to have you with us. Good morning, Scotty. How's the Lord dealing with the lockdown? Hope he's getting locks of walks. No, just very short walks. But uh, he is uh, in his 14th year. So as a dog, he's 96. So a wee bit of sniffing and a bit of one and two, and that's him. Uh, he's quite happy, the tail going all the time. So, But he's loving having his old chum with him. Uh, John Murray, dinky do, Kira Murphy. Uh, Kira says, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Kira. Darren Meekin, join in, Scotty, for a dinky do. Excellent. Sissy and Ada. That was it. Ooh, Sissy and Ada. Look. Oh, I don't, I don't understand that. Oh, come on, look. So there we are. Wonderful. 
says Dawson. Loved the man. Wanted to meet him. I started uh, on Red Rose Gold Radio in Lancashire, which was Les Dawson's stamping ground. And um, I wanted to uh, to maybe get the chance to meet him because I met a lot of the big comedians. And some used to phone me. And uh, Les just died a few days after I arrived. Bless him. Uh, Scotty, I feel like I'm going to have a tie, a two-meter pole to myself, have to tie a two-meter pole to myself so that people get the idea it's two meters apart and not 20 centimeters. NHS staff may be refusing to deal with infected patients without PPE, a very hard decision, a hard decision for them. John Jones, you're absolutely right. Christopher loves watching Dinky Doo, Christopher Alistair King. It all rem reminds me of the shell suit Scotty, highly flammable. Who ever thought of them? So they were very strange. Well, they were massive in Liverpool. When I worked in Liverpool, um, and I worked in Topsteth in the 1980s, but when I worked in Liverpool in the late 80s, 90s, shell suits were just the rage. It was fantastic. And I remember a lovely guy coming down one of the main streets in Liverpool. And uh, he, uh, I think it was Dale Street. And he saw me and somebody said, he's just gone in to buy a camera. He came out with one of these throwaway cameras and took pictures of him and I. <laughs> Scotty McClue, yeah. Hey, did he do? Cameron Philson, Scott Kerbright. Morning, Scotty. Stuart Gray's watching. Ian Dick, welcome, welcome. More sharing, guys. We need to get sharing. We can't just rely on everybody to do it, although we must do. So there we are. Um, I'll share to my story in public and just put live now, and that should let everybody know. You never miss a second of Scotty McClure, or you miss a moment of life. And we don't want that again, do we? So there we go. Now, has that shared? Yes, that's shared. That's excellent. So I'll do some more sharing. Oh, that's the wrong thing I'm sharing. <laughs> I love that orange one with the flames that we've got now. Uh, Thomas Pedden says, can I have a shout out for Josie Lappin and Jane Pedden, who were supposed to be getting married today. Um, Connor Cassidy was best man. He asked for this. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. So Oh, you can, have a, you can have a shout out. Of course you can, Thomas. Excellent stuff. Um, Connor Cassidy was the best man. Right. Um, I hope you're not working me from the back here. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, morning, Scotty. Morning. Um, Jack says, do you think that uh, once we get the virus... We'll be able to, what was that one? Once we get the virus, we'll be able to be immune from getting the virus a second time. Yeah, but let's hope we don't get it, Jack. That's the whole thing. There's bound to be antibodies created, and there's bound to be a degree of immunity. So there we are. Uh, no, it was called off due to the virus. All right, Thomas. Um, Brian Hall, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, welcome to every single one of you. Thank you for joining us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We are live streaming on Facebook Live for everybody who's locked down in the house and thinks, I don't want to watch the telly. I don't want to listen to the radio. Oh, Scotty McClure's on. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Dinky do, my good man. Dinky do, Brian Hall. Lovely to have you with us. I had a couple of nutters the other day saying, when we saw you were back on, we thought this will be comedy gold. I think they were expecting the old phone-ins. Now, you can't do that, so it's a different thing. Uh, social distancing. How was your Easter, Scotty? Fantastic Easter. A wonderful mass from St. Augustine's uh, in Court Bridge yesterday. I don't know if everybody saw that. Uh, Alistair King says, Junior's still fast asleep. This is bliss. I've had two whole hours all to myself. Even the dog's still asleep. Yes, Alistair, do you think I'm popping up far too early in the morning? 
What we could do is a watch party afterwards, I suppose, just to let everybody know what is what. And uh, I'll just do some more sharing. I'm going to share to a page. Share to another page. There's a, a few Scotty McClue pages, guys. Seek them out and follow them. Follow me on here. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue, and subscribe to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. That will bring you joy and laughter. Education, edification, entertainment, and enjoyment. It will bring you the lot. And uh, we need that at the moment because people are having a very tough time. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't pop up. Thomas Pinton, thank you, dear. Uh, St. Augustine's is my parish. It's over the back of my house. Is that along at the end of the town, Thomas? Because did you see the Mass? I thoroughly enjoyed the Mass with Father Kane yesterday on BBC Scotland. So there we are. It should have been out. Was it broadcast nationally across the whole country? Should have been because it was a beautiful piece of uh, um, worship. Fabulous piece of worship. And thank you to Father Kane and thank you to his deacon for uh, a wonderful Mass. My mum, age 71, is in hospital with the coronavirus. I'm not allowed to see her. Stay safe, everyone. It's serious. Stay in, people. Brian Hall, thank you. Love to your mum. Through the window, I don't know, through the ether. What can we do? Very tough for you. Henry Anderson, dinky do. <clears throat> when my mum was in hospital and um, she was just into her last week, and uh, I was able to sit with her, you know. I saw her just about an hour before she passed away. So uh, I do feel for all the people who can't be with their loved ones um, at the moment. Um, right, live now. Come and join us. Okay, live now. Come and join us. There we are, and that's going out to Global Radio, and I'll share to a, a group as well in a minute. Let everyone know what's happening. Kareem Zachariah, good morning to you, and uh, hi, Scotty, how are we today? And I do hope that you're uh, uh, all right and that you're coping with what you had to experience yesterday. Uh, say hello to Erin and Orla. Says Joan Johnston. Joan, of course I can. Absolutely delighted. It is a shout-out show. It makes me laugh when people say, so are you just stop talking to the people that join you? I say, eh, yes. <laughs> people are funny, aren't they? You know? Then you get the, um, the Jonas, the Jonas that say, ah, popping up Facebook. Nobody will bother with that. Uh, just the two million of you, yes, two million have made the effort since I started doing Facebook Live. That's okay, isn't it? Hope your mum makes a recovery, says Gordon Robertson. It's horrible not being able to see her. Can you contact her by mobile phone? I don't know. Are mobiles allowed in the hospital beds in the wards? Tony Stamps watching. Good morning, Tony. I hope you're in good trim this morning and that you're a very, very happy Tony boy. And uh, are you driving this morning? Are you on the old buses? Uh, good morning, Scotty. Dinky do, says Tony. Absolutely, Tony. And dinky do to you. You must be a fabulous driver. Bus drivers are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I got on one one morning at uh, 10 to 7 in the morning. Uh, Maria, dinky do. Hello, Scotty. Thank you for your inspiration. It's great to see you. Maria Law, it's lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. A big dinky do to everybody. And I did tweet to Coat Bridge. Uh, so if you've joined us this morning, welcome to the brig. Good to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Now, more sharing. Everybody sharing. We must get these numbers up, guys. Uh, I know there's a lot of constraints on your time, but probably less so at the moment. So this is a good time to come and join Scotty McClure and get a bit of chit-chat. Let me know how you're doing. Talk back to me. That's why with the feedback, if you're trusted, you can Skype me. 
I've got my trusty Skype here, and you can come and join us. Gordon Robertson says, has my friend Ryan joined yet? Uh, he may well have, Gordon. Ryan, have you joined us? Come and say, uh, Gordon's uh, concerned. There he is, Ryan Charles. I'm here. Ryan is here, Gordon. Panic over. Uh, I say, Scotty, what football team do you support? Ooh, Craig, you've got me there. So many fabulous teams. Big Manchester United man. Big Manchester City man. Big Newcastle man. Big uh, Liverpool man. Huge Liverpool man. Big Everton man. Massive. Um, Borough. Quite fond of Borough as well. I like to see them. Big party Thistle man. Uh, a very big Celtic man on the hoops. And a very big Rangers man. yo -ho! And uh, all that sort of stuff. So it's really difficult to make a choice there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, how is your Easter Sunday and how does your Monday look? Monday's looking well, Kareem. Lot of work to do this morning. Always is. Maxed, maxed all the time. Work, work, work. I'll be driving buses today in the back shift, all from home, of course. I'll be driving buses on the back shift until midnight. I'm on the service seven to start off New Haven to the Royal Infirmary, then finish off on the 37 Silver Nows to Pennycook. Along at these strange traffic lights at the bottom on the ferry road that are way up. You know, you have to have a double look at them. I know exactly where you are. Ryan is from London. I think this is the first time he's been exposed to you. Hello, Ryan. Lovely to have you with us. Hope you're understanding everything we're saying. And it's great, great to know that London's watching because this is what London should have, especially during the lockdown. That's what it's about. So up the old apples, I say to you, and uh, down the old apples, and on with the Scotty McClue dinky do for you, Ryan. Was that all right? Was that clear enough? Uh, George Raffin, dinky do. Hope that was okay, Gordon. Would Ryan, would Ryan understand that? There we are. I've always said they should put me on in London. There was a television station started up in London, and I got in touch with the bosses of it, and I said. Stick Scotty McClure in that. Their figures will be through the roof because it was really, really struggling for viewers. And um, the guy, if you'd heard him, he said, yes, I fail to understand how a Scottish phone-in program would help a television station. And then his mate was going, yes, I agree. And I thought... Don't you understand? Get Scotty McClure down there educating the Londoners. Huge. A massive win. Win-win all the time. Uh, when you're talking to Ryan, you've changed your sentences with in it. You know, know what I mean, Ryan? In it? True, in it? Yeah. Scotty McClure, thank you for doing a 10 a.m. pop-up instead of an 11. Not at all, Kareem. I did have you in mind. I do spoil you a little bit. I must confess. Is 10 o'clock better than 11 for all of you? I know that 10 suits Kareem. How do I know this? Because he's told me a dozen times. So I'm beginning to get the message. <coughs> Ryan is laughing, Gordon. He thinks this is funny. Whoa, you think this is funny? Whoa, what well, is funny, isn't it? You know, that sort of thing. So there we are. Ryan's getting, uh, is getting a smile. Uh, hi Scotty, Captain, my Captain, says the wonderful George Raffin. Lovely to have you with us, George and Dinky Do. Hi Scotty, my girlfriend Amy says good morning to you. Ah, John Taylor, good morning. Get yourself a part in EastEnders with that accent, Scotty. What do you write EastEnders, I would? What do you mean? It's true, isn't it? Uh, get yourself a part there, yes, absolutely, in it. In it, says Ryan Charles. Yeah, in it, Charles. I'll tell you, Ryan, in it. So hopefully another friend, Gary, will be here soon. Now, we'll see from Gordon to I see if I can manage a wee bit of that speak. See what I just did there. I spoil you. Wonderful <laughs> stuff. 10 a.m.'s great, says the wonderful Brian Hall. Uh, people could compromise for a 10.30 start, says Kareem. Aha! 
How would that suit? I mean, tell me about your lifestyle. Seriously, there's no shame in saying that you're lying in till half nine, ten o'clock. There's no shame in it because it is a way to pass the time during lockdown. Well done, Kareem. So there you are. Uh, Robert Rovers is watching. Thank you, do, Robert. Welcome, welcome. More sharing, guys. We need to share to the big groups. Well, this is uh, getting beyond a joke. Everybody share, please. Are you watching Scotty McClure? Gordon Robinson says he's from a posh part of Paisley. Hmm. Hmm. Having a wee think there. Yes, right. I think I've got it. So he's a castle head man. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. He's a Figgy man. He's from Figgy. Excellent stuff. He's coming to join us from Figgy. Welcome, 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 everybody. If you've just joined us, you're very welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster. And I hope that doesn't annoy other broadcasters. And, I mean, if it does, it does, you know. But the one stop broadcaster and the world's most humble man. I couldn't bear it if it sounded like I was trumpet blowing, you know, for all the work I've done. His loss, says Gordon Robertson. Is he not coming on? Gary's just messaged me to say he's watching a film. A film? What kind of film could possibly be more of a distraction than Scotty McClure? For goodness sake, a film. You can see a film anytime. The television's falling down with them. Can you do a coat de brig? Accent, Scotty. Aye, of course I can, Robert Ken. Eh, there's Yenny, yeah, there's two of them. No, there was Yenny at first, eh? eh? So there we go. I get up at nine o'clock, take the dogs out quick, have coffee, read Facebook, come on at ten. When you're finished at eleven, I take the dogs for a big walk. My part of a routine, but my part of my routine. Yes, absolutely. I mean, a man like yourself, an athlete, uh, you know, a fitness man, you do need to have a routine. I mean, I have a routine. I do my star jumps. Um, you know, I do my sit-ups and I uh, just do one of these. It helps me get out of bed. And, um, you know, then I do, um, so I do four star jumps and then I have um, two rolls, uh, four slices of bacon, that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? God Robinson watching. Nothing you can do about being the one stop broadcaster. Facts are facts. Gordon, you're talking my language. What could I do about that? I mean, even if it does annoy other broadcasters, and it's not designed to, you can't help being the world's top broadcaster. It's just one of these things, you know? And my humility speaks for itself. There we go. 10 o'clock, when the off-license opens, Karim may have a point about half past. Michael McCulloch, harsh. So there we are. Is it harsh but fair, though? So there we are. Mark Kelsey, happy Easter, Lord of the Internet. Mark Kelsey, I thank you. And dinky-doo to you. Happy Easter, to every single one of you. Wonderful. I'll give you an Easter hymn in a minute. So there we go. We had a, a great one yesterday. With soul of my saviour yesterday. And it's a beauty. I'll give it to you just now. Uh, you know, because I think it's a lovely, a lovely, lovely hymn. So there we are. And obviously it's tough at mass. The one from the Vatican the other night had a small choir. Could you, uh, amazing grace, oh my goodness, Karim, you're asking the earth here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kareem. That's just for you. A quick a late request there. There we are, but we managed it um, up early to do the housework breakfast at 10 with Scotty. So there we are, Amazing Grace Kareem. Was that all right for you, I say? Uh, more sharing, guys. We need to share, share, share. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we might do a 10.30. That's an interesting one. I don't want to muck about too much with people's time, though. People go, well, when is he on? I don't know. That was beautiful, Scotty McClary. Thank you so much. Not at all, Kareem. A great privilege, and I understand. Remember, McClue understands. Very important. Mark Hampshire's watching. Thank you, Mark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, let's share to a big group here, guys. Um, let's get this show on the road. Can everybody else share, please? You say, that's three times you've told me Scotty McClure's on. You say, well, are you watching? Oh, it's on the now. All that sort of idea. People are a bit, uh, I mean, watching a film instead of Scotty McClure. What film could possibly be better than Scotty McClure? It would need to be an absolute belter. Brill, Son of My Saviour, Trump's Amazing Grace, says Michael McCulloch. All right, Michael McCulloch, you've asked for it. Soul of My Saviour, here we are. I hope this works. And there we go. <laughs> think excellent stuff now then tell ten to tell ten to tell ten scotty mccrew just for you saying dinky do and we are live michael mcculloch that was for you son of my savior uh, i hope you were singing along fantastic beautiful beautiful hymn now um i in fact i put that up on uh, a youtube yesterday of um, the Choir of Truro Cathedral. Truro, wonderful, down in Cornwall. Right down there in the southwest. Wonderful stuff. Soul of my saviour. Now then, um, lots and lots to talk about. What's the time? Oh my goodness me. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? I can't believe it. I'm just going to do the sharing here. Um, let's see what happens. Yes, uh, Scotty McClure fan group. So we'll share with them. The Scotty McClure fan group. Now, guys, get yourself onto that. It's had about, oh, for goodness sake, we're not wanting that. There we are. I'll, uh, I'll cancel that. I don't know if I managed to cancel that. So there we go. It looks like there's, there's a watch party going on there. Hmm. Yes, I've got to watch our clicking here. Uh, no, not 10.30. 10.30 is neither one thing nor the other. It's just as bad as the quarter hour. And I take it that you will know what Miss Jean Brodie, my girls at the Marsha Blaine, thought of a quarter hour. It's <laughs> just wonderful, wasn't she? That was a lovely, lovely film. Gordon Jackson as the music teacher. There we are. Craig Cameron, Dinky Doo. How's the dog today? One of mine's been acting strange behaviour for the last couple of days. Kareem, this may or may not be something, but the news that you were dealing with, the dog may well have picked up on that and will certainly, most certainly, have picked up on, uh, on your mood and your disposition. So there you are. The dogs are wonderful. And you'll probably find the dogs giving you 
um, a little bit more attention, maybe a bit of shoving and things like that to ask if you're okay. Uh, when are we getting a post-watershed show? Oh, Thomas. Tut, tut, tutity, tut. I don't know that I would risk going back to that because, you see, your problem is, you know, one wrong word and the whole thing goes um, bottom up, you know, that's it. So uh, I don't know that. It, I see where you're coming from. I see, don't think, I don't know. I see where you're coming from, but I think, oh, my goodness me, um, how would that do? Now, what have we got here? Ah, there we are. So if I'm, I'm just, I'm back to the sharing. I'm just going to share to a group. Share. I know there's a lot of sharing, but you have to, otherwise people don't know. They go, I never knew that was on. Here, here, says Gordon Robertson. I mean, if you think about it, and all the years, 28 years of Scotty McClue, I've never actually said anything dodgy. Thomas says, I listen to your YouTube, the old stuff as well. Yes, but break it down. There's never anything dodgy. It's all about heat rather than light. So there you are. There's nothing that couldn't really be said most of the time. Um, perhaps not. I mean, we did have one problem, and that was very contrived for using a word properly. Use the word properly, and uh, they wouldn't have it. So that was that. Uh, I'm just going to post this, guys, to uh, the Scott of McClude group, and that will let you all know what's happening. There we are. And we're sharing that. Yeah, the group. Sharing the group. Uh, Scotty McClure. This takes a wee, a wee second or two. Uh, I listen to all your YouTube stuff. The old stuff's wild. It is. George Raff and the Dead Point Society is a great film. Ah, Robin Williams. Seize the day. Seize the day. Fantastic. I remember that word, says Gordon. Yes, and Gordon, I used it properly. So I didn't think they had any issue at all, but they were out to uh, to get me. They were out to teach McClure a lesson. And you know what I'm saying, Gordon? You can't fight City Hall, nor would I try. So there we are, and it caused a stushy. Um, always remember that. And this guy had objected to it. Uh, Gordon Stillings watching Dinky Doo. Gordon, lovely to have you with us. Tell all your friends because uh, we're just sharing. We're getting this shared out there to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. And Gordon, there's been a lot of discussion in your absence. So, so did you see what I just did there? You like that one. And um, we've been discussing, should it be on at 11 o'clock? Should it be on at half past ten? Uh, Morning, Scotty fella. Hope you're well, mate. Gary Davidson, yes. I'll take the fella, but we were just saying earlier, we don't really do the meat. You just told the truth back then, but sometimes people don't like to hear that. David Turner, a lot of people don't like to hear it. I remember talking to somebody very senior. I said, here's my plan. And he said, oh, for goodness sake, don't tell them that. I thought, well, why not? It's the truth. People would love just to hear the truth, and they don't need to panic. I mean, if the government just stood up and said, look, guys, here's what's happening. Sorry to disappoint you, but here's what's happening. Would we not respect them more for that? But it's a big ask. Good morning, McClure. Good morning, God of Stilling. Lovely to have you with us. God of Stilling, did you check out the pricing of the A135s? Do you think it would make a good McClure car for my public engagements? Right, an A135. They're talking about 8,000 to 11,000 now. As you know, I don't deal in thousands for cars. Uh, I deal in hundreds or tens. So that sort of thing. Good afternoon, Scotty. What's the cars today? I remember a guy that ran, when I was tiny, uh, one of our friends ran a Morris 8. And he used to pop into the house and say, would you like a cup of tea? And he would say, no, no, I, my, my engine's running. Because uh, she was very difficult to start again. And where he'd come about this Morris 8, he told me he saw the scrap man towing it, um, you know, behind his scrap van. And he flagged him down 
and said, is that car for sale? And he said, uh, I give us a fiver for the tyres. So he gave him five pounds and bought himself a Morris Eat. It was a little bit rough, a, a few little oil leaks and things like that, but a lovely car. So this might have been something like 1962 or 61. And uh, he'd bought himself a 30-year-old motor car for a fiver. We love that. I can remember the newspaper advertising you could get a runner for £15 and you could buy an old Jag for 45 so there you are. Uh, and I remember a guy telling me, he says, we once scrapped a, when we were boys, we uh, found a scrap um, Inspector Morse Jaguar. He said, we took the Jaguar badge off it because that's all we wanted and pushed it over a cliff. <laughs> Have you been to Loch Ness? I was on Google Maps and the place looks lovely. On my to-do list of summer, I know Loch Ness very, very well. And uh, I very often go by bus from uh, Inverness over to up Loch Ness side to Fort William. And um, what was very interesting about this, I've done this for a long time. And what was very interesting about it, I said to the driver who had come from, obviously, over from the northeast, and I said, um, the northeast roads are better, aren't they? And he said, well, they're a lot straighter. He said, the problem with a lock side, you've rock on one side and water on the other. So it's difficult to get a straight road. So the road is pretty hairy. So my advice, Kareem, would be if you want to see Loch Ness, it's got to be as a passenger. Um, because you can't really see it as a driver because the road is just dangerous. You get two coaches passing each other. You get the big uh, truck with all the trees on it coming around the corner. You feel the wind whistling between you on the Loch Ness Road, the road going up Loch Ness side to Fort William. My friend brought an old Honda back in the 60s and still runs it to this very day, says Darren Wicken. The VTEC still hasn't kicked in, though. <laughs> Fantastic. Beautiful cars. The Honda, lovely little quiet engines. My, uh, so that's that one. Yes, absolutely. We like our motor cars. I was doing a YouTube pop-up um, just a couple of Saturdays ago, and I chose to do it late at night just because I'm experimenting at the moment, I'm seeing who's about for Scotty McLeod. And we had a fantastic response. And a load of car enthusiasts. We found we were mainly car enthusiasts. I think it was around midnight. Alistair King, can you remember that? Uh, you were partaking in it. And we thought we might do a regular on YouTube. And I was coming up with a title and I thought, what about Top Clutch? Maybe that needs a bit of work, but top clutch. And we talk motor cars all the time. That's all we do. So I don't know. What do you think of that, guys? Give us some feedback. Gary Davidson, what car do you drive? I drive two cars, Gary Davidson. Well, only one because one's not starting at the moment. So one's 28 years old this week or last week. And the other's 20 years old. So I'm a two-car man, you see. Very swish. So between them, there's probably about um, oh, 200 pounds worth in the value. So there we go. So you have to watch nowadays in case somebody's after it, you know, 200 quid. That's it, trying to get your keys. Uh, gear knobs would be a good name, says Darren Meekin. I might just do that, Darren. I might just nick that off you. Happy Easter, Scotty. Any more suggestions for top clutch? You could call it full of gear. That would get an audience, Thomas, late on a Saturday night, wouldn't it? You know, let's have it straight. So there you go. That would get an audience. Big style. Wonderful. Right. Um, do come and join us. Lovely to have you with us, of course. What's the time? Oh, my goodness me. Time flies when you're having fun. More sharing. I'll tell you, I'll just do an actual share with this one, I think. Just an actual share uh, and see how that does. 
Uh, Scott of the Crew is live now. Good, Tony Stamp. I thank you. Uh, in fact, what I might do, Tony, is just share your share your share, and we'll have a watch party afterwards. So don't start all this. Oh, can I have a shout out? It's so strange. Um, share now in public. There we are. I've thrown caution to the wind and shared in public. Being up north, Loch Ness is better for the water skiing than Loch Lomond, which is too flat and doesn't have any downhill bits in the loch. A tee he 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 Gordon Robertson, I wish you'd come on to me on the 1st of April. That would have been excellent. So there we are. Water skiing downhill. <laughs> That's what's really rather good. How do you get on with the water skiing? Ah, not so good on the downhill. Not so good on the ski jumps. Shared Scotty McClure. Kareem, I thank you. It's wonderful. It's very, very good of you. I hope you get a response when you share. I hope people give you the thumbs up. Hang on. Quick, uh, quick comfort break for McClure. See you in a minute. Oh. Now, I don't know what your weather's like. Ours is pretty cold outside in Glasgow in the west of Scotland. So there you are. But um, quite interesting. It's roasting hot. Loose. I think it's the lights. I have to have the lights. You see, I've got the lights. Is that better? Give me a wee bit more light. Oh, uh, A guy came in from our local pub with jump leads. He got chucked out. He's obviously trying to start something. All right, George Raffin, you've asked for it. Um, a guy knocks on the door of a pub at uh, two in the morning. He's had a refreshment. And uh, the wife wakes up. She says, go down and see who that is. So he pulls back the big bolts, opens the door, and there's a guy standing there who says, any chance of a push? And the guy goes, uh, no, it's two o'clock in the morning, shuts the door. Goes up, the wife says, rrr, rrr, rrr. he goes, um, a guy wonder if he could get a push. Go, go and give him a push for goodness sake. Nobody else is going to at this time. All oh, right. So he gets the slippers and the dressing gown on. He goes down and he goes, hello. Couldn't see him. He says, hello, I'm here. I'm already on the swing. Uh, I wouldn't put a milk bottle out in the cold today, says Thomas Biden. Excellent. wouldn't put a milk bottle out. People used to say in Glasgow, oh, wouldn't you put my dog out in that? At night time, they used to let their dogs just go. Uh, Loch Lomond is such a beautiful loch. I always feel at peace. We're so lucky to have what we have. We have Kareem Zakra. Are you f familiar with um, the Trossachs? So there you are. Go up and see the Trossachs and uh, get yourself out on that. And you can go out on the loch. It's absolutely wonderful. You can go on the Sir Walter Scott, which is 120 years old. Amazing. A steamship because they don't want to pollute the loch because it's the water supply for Glasgow. Uh, I'm looking out my living room window over the water of Leith. It's cool and grey. Down here in Leith, the water of Leith. Can you hear it at night, Tony? When you're lying in bed, can you hear the water of Leith? Wonderful. There we are. Um, yes, we are lucky to have it. <clears throat> a horse goes into a pub and the barman says, Why the long face? A wee guy goes into a pub, he walks up the wall, he walks upside down across the ceiling, he walks down the other wall, and he walks out the door. And the guy says to the barman, did you see that? He said, yes. If he tries that again, I'll bar him. See what I just did there? The ventilators that are being made for the NHS by Dyson are working well. So I uh, see that as soon pa patients are out of them. They start picking up. Gordon Robertson, what are you like? You and your dark humour. Uh, Thomas Bean, how many Easter eggs did you get? And what kind? Ooh. Ooh. Too many to mention. I'd be advertising. Nice e joke, Scotty. You done it at a push. <laughs> you pushed me to do that joke. So excellent stuff. 
A guy's car breaks down. I brought tons up and he says, can I help you? He said, are you a mechanic? He went, no, I'm a chiropodist. I said, oh, well, could you give us a tow? <laughs> it's windy here at St. Anne's. It will be. St. Anne's is so beautiful. St. Anne's on Sea. I used to think, do I retire to St. Anne's on Sea? Not because I wanted to, because it's the law. <laughs> See what I just did there? Guys, I'm at the homemade lemonade. It's gorgeous. Mm. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. So yes, that's what happened. A guy walked into a bar and he went, Ah! It was an iron bar. <laughs> very, very good. All these, all these wee funnies, you know. And... Um, Remember a guy went uh, out to get his horse and it had been painted green. No animals were harmed during the telling of this joke. It had been painted green. So he walked into the saloon and he said, Who's painted my horse green? And this seven foot, built like a brickin' cowboy says, I did. And he said, God, just to say I love the colour. Uh, is that Lytham St. Anne's? Yes, Lytham St. Anne's, Gordon. There we are. Uh, I used to think it must be the law that you retired to go to St. Anne's. I loved it. I used to, had a friend visited me when I lived in Preston. I said, Mum, we'll go out we run and have afternoon tea. We went to St. Anne's. Scotty, what's the fastest fish in the sea? Says Darren Meekin. A motor pike. All right, you've asked for it. What's the fastest town in Scotland? You have to have the right accent for this. Nairn. So there we are. What do you call an Irish marksman? Rick O'Shea. There we are. Right, I can't uh, tell that one, Thomas Bennett. It is early in the morning, pre-watershed, and you know that we uh, we don't do that one. Um, so there we go. But excellent, excellent stuff, guys. A wee light-hearted joke. I was uh, standing on the main road, and I put my hand out to stop a bus, but I wasn't strong enough. Um, so there we are. I got on a double-decker bus. I said to the guy, you're going into town? He said, yes, downstairs only. I said, where's your top bit going? <laughs> yes, Lytham St. Anne's, says Brian. Excellent stuff. That's what we like. So there you go. Never a dull moment on Scotty McClure in the morning, guys. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just looking at the time. It's actually pressing on a bit we've got about another five minutes so let's use it well and use it wisely there I, did i tell you i gave up my job in the helium factory i thought i will not be spoken to like that again there you go excellent stuff did i tell you i gave up being a comedian because everybody just laughed at me all the time wonderful so that's it doctor said, why do you drink, George? I said, to forget. He said, to forget what? And I said, oh, hang on a minute. I don't know, I've forgotten. <laughs> they used to say that the only reason elephants would drink would be to forget. It's a thought, isn't it? Homemade lemonade, is it flat or fizzy? It's a flat, very flat. And usually when I bring a bottle of fizz in the house, which is quite rare, it's flat by the time I drink it. Why is there no painkillers in France? Because Paris Etamol. Etamol. Paris Etamol. Paris Etamol, right. Paris Etamol. Paris Etamol. Why is there no painkillers in France? Because paracetamol. Je le garde, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles longtemps, peut-être je comprends, oui. Excellent. More sharing, guys. 
I'm going to share to a group this time. I've decided um, it's only fair on them for me to share to a group. So we like that. A wee touch of the humour. Wonderful. I went into the doctor's. And I said, I'm worried that I might be becoming a pair of cottons. He said, you need to pull yourself together. So there we are. Stop. I was going to stop. It's funny, young people call these dad jokes. Because apparently that's what their dad tells their friends when they go around the house. Eleanor McKinnon's watching Dinky Doo. So there we are. That's so the guy's daughter came down and he said, where are you going? And she said, I'm going out. He said, you're not going out looking like that. She said, what do you mean? He goes, away and put on some makeup. <laughs> Ellen McKinnon, dinky do. Welcome, 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 I see. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering what on earth's happening, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we're live streaming on Facebook Live. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. So there we are. Why did the toilet roll go down the hill to get to the bottom? So there we are. What's blue? and swings through the jungle. Tarzan wearing a Wrangler jacket. <laughs> Stop! Oh, wonderful stuff. Right, okay, we'll have uh, clean jokes for uh, another three minutes, and then I will do you all a favour and push off. And uh, I hope that you all have a superb day. Fantastic. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you've enjoyed it. Share and share during the day, guys, as well. Scott McLean, have a good day today. The pop-ups cheered my Monday up. Speak tomorrow at 10 a.m. Right, 10 o'clock it is tomorrow. I went to the doctor with a strawberry growing out of my bottom, and he gave me some cream for it. <laughs> what toilet roll? And Captain Kirk got in common. They wipe out the Klingons. Thank you, Gordon. Uh, on that note, perhaps it might not be a good idea to be telling the jokes. Uh, I'm going to do one more share. I'm going to still share to a big group. I think that would be fabulous. What do we think, guys? If McClure shares to a big group. Yes, a proper share. You know, are you back on tonight? Uh, no, I'm not on tonight, Thomas. Well, I hadn't thought about it. Uh, you know, Eleanor McKinnon, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And um, I hope that all is well. Eleanor has put three big laughs at the jokes. That might be the jokes. That's doing it, guys. So there you are. Who knows? So there you go. Uh, Doctor, I can't stop singing Tong Jones songs. I don't know what it is. He said, well, it's not unusual. <laughs> we love all that. Fantastic stuff. Right. Um, where is the big group? Okay. You guys can do the sharing. And also, can you like the page, guys? And can you like the Scotty McClue page? It only takes a second. I know everybody goes, can you like my page? And you go, ah. But this is Scotty McClue we're talking about. This is big. All right. Leave with a song, Scotty, for the Foy sisters, Erin and Marcella. Well, I can't just sing a song as such. Uh, so there we are. The, a guy goes to the doctor with a palm tree growing out of his head. And the doctor said, it's a beauty spot. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal stuff. So there we go. Um, I noticed the audience is going up because I said I was going. So there we are. It's always obviously one of the highlights of the day is when I say I'm going. I'll put up the uh, watch party, though. What orange and sounds like a parrot, says Dave. Go on, Dave. Last one. What's orange and sounds like a parrot? Do tell. Spill. So there we are. Dave Doc. I think we're going to have to wait till tomorrow for that. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to all of you. ta la -las. Take care of yourselves and stay fabulous.